Welcome to this new video, Osmo Mobile 1 versus Osmo Mobile 2. Let's go inside. Hello guys and welcome to a new We Talk UEV video. This is Alex Asmacher and finally we received the Osmo Mobile 2 and this video is all about comparing it to the Osmo Mobile 1. There's been a significant price reduction on this, a little bit of weight reduction and some new features included on the Osmo Mobile 2. Let's see which one is better. First of all, we wanted to compare the specs, dimensions and weight of both without getting into millimeters and stuff. Um, just say that the new Osmo Mobile 2 is 15, 16 grams lighter, which it doesn't really, you don't really feel it in your hand, but it's 16 grams. It's 485 grams in total. And also to mention that even though the grip on the Osmo Mobile 2 is quite smaller, the whole gimbal is bigger on the Osmo Mobile 2. Apart from that, everything seems pretty similar. Also very important on the specs of the new DJI Osmo Mobile 2 is the battery capacity. DJI has said that this battery is capable of lasting up to 15 hours, whereas the Osmo Mobile was only capable of doing four to five hours. Now, I have no idea about electronics and voltage and energy, but I do know that this new Osmo Mobile 2 has an energy of 18 watts per hour, and this one does have 10.8 watts per hour. However, DJI managed to maintain the voltage at 7.2 volts, whereas the Osmo Mobile 1 had 11.1 volts. Also, just the last thing is the milliamps per hour. This one is capable of doing 2800 and this one does 980. This just means that DJI has managed to put in a smaller battery, more capacity and make it last longer. Just to finish the specs comparison, just remember that both Osmo Mobiles work with the Bluetooth 4.0 low energy, which allow um, a more efficient power consumption on the Osmo Mobile and on your phone. Well, for the DJI Go app, of course, you have to connect via Bluetooth your phone to the Osmo Mobile. And let's see how the new app looks. And as you can see, it looks pretty much the same as the old one. And once you get in, there is a nice tutorial that you can watch. In our case, we're just gonna skip it. And, oh, look at this. Yeah, we, that's us, yes. And it's pretty much the same app as the Osmo Mobile one, so there's not a lot to say. Just you can switch on top here from video to photo. This button here will allow you to do the different modes like time-lapse, hyper-lapse, motion-lapse. And you can, of course, go into the selfie mode. This is Chivo. Say hi to Chivo and um, also the tracking, which you'll see in the in-depth review um, just by dragging something like this. It will track everything. But anyways, let's exit and you will be able to see what you've been filming on this play button. Nothing else to say, the settings uh, for changing the resolution, video resolution and everything you want, the panorama quality, the uh, unstitched photos, etc. And of course the live, as you can see, there are different softwares that you can be using for your live broadcasting and nothing else to say. This is pretty much the app and it looks the same way as it did before. Now one of the questions you probably have is how long does it take to charge the new Osmo Mobile 2 battery and if you can swap as you could do on the Osmo Mobile 1, remember that just you could open this and take out the battery and you could just buy three or four batteries so you didn't have to charge again your Osmo Mobile. Well, the answer is this battery is internal and there is no way you can take the battery out, which is good and also maybe not so good. You can charge the battery in just two hours and as DJI says, um, the capacity is of 15 hours, which is a lot and you probably will need three, four days to uh, empty that battery. So it's something also positive here. The Osmo Mobile One was a really great device and the only thing I didn't like though was the way it was charged. 
Even though you could take out the battery, you needed a cable, a specific cable, which looks like a mini jack, a 3.5 millimeter jack that you had to um, connect here. This means that you could uh, charge via USB uh, your Osmo Mobile, but you had to charge the whole thing. Um, afterwards, there was a power bank and you could charge the battery separately, but at the beginning it was just like this. Um, however, also my MacBook did not charge the Osmo Mobile, so it had to go to the wall anyways. And the Osmo Mobile 2, on the other hand, has for me improved this and it is a regular micro USB Android cable, which you can connect pretty much anywhere and you connect the whole Osmo Mobile 2 this way. So this is a good point for the Osmo Mobile 2. And now probably the feature I like the most on the Osmo Mobile 2. See this little micro USB port right here? Well, if you do open this, you'll be able to charge your phone with it same way as if it were or if it was a power bank. This is the most amazing thing that the Osmo Mobile 2 is bringing us because I tell you, I've been traveling a lot with this one and even though the battery lasted about three hours, um, my phone battery just died after half an hour of use, so it, it's not that much. And this will um, probably enhance the amount of footage you'll be able to uh, film with this. So this is one of the greatest things improved on the Osmo Mobile 2. Oh, and before I forget the answer to the questions whether you can be charging your phone and using the Osmo Mobile 2 at the same time, the answer is yes, which is pretty good. Now you'll be able to have a special cable probably in L-shaped form in order to uh, use that probably, but it works fine. So this is also pretty nice. Now at this point of the video, we thought that it would be also interesting um, now that we've been using the Osmo Mobile 2 for a couple of hours to uh, tell a little bit our own experience and how it was. And you know me personally and on my personal channel, I've been uh, filming a lot with this and traveling like for more than a year now and I'm just in love with this one. So I'm kind of skeptical with this one, even though the results have been very positive. So overall, um, it feels a little bit uh, simpler and you know the grip on the Osmo Mobile 1 was a little bit more comfy and it was, it was a little bit more uh, thought off, let's say. And on the Osmo Mobile 2 also the buttons and everything looks a little bit simpler. However, you have to remember that even though the Osmo Mobile 2 may look a little bit more simple than the Osmo Mobile 1, we're talking here about a new gadget that will give you the same quality of footage than the Osmo Mobile One for only $129. This is very important and you have to keep that in mind. This will allow lots of people to buy this where $300 plus was a little bit too much on this one. So again, on our personal opinion here, Chivo and me, um, the Osmo Mobile One was hardly improvable. So DJI, we believe, did this step um, for getting to a much more broad audience and again as I said people that are now wanting to um, spend $129 for a higher quality. Also remember that there is competence and other companies that have already done and made this step so in order to uh, keep fighting with them you uh, DJI had to uh, release a uh, light version of the Osmo Mobile One. Just one thing before you start raging, because I'm seeing you, yes, yes, I'm talking to you, you know who you are. We're gonna do a in-depth review of the Osmo Mobile 2 in the following days. Uh, we'll be explaining all the functions, the buttons, the hyperlapse, and everything that this little thing is capable of doing. So just stay tuned, because in the next days, you'll have that in-depth review available. Well guys, sorry for this intro. We're here at a beautiful spot and we brought both Osmo Mobiles, the one and the two, and we're gonna do some footage, some testing footage. I will be filming Chivo with my iPhone and we're gonna do some uh, comparison between handheld Osmo One and Osmo Two and you can take your own conclusions. So let's take a look.
Well, these were the tests that we did doing the same footage with both Osmo mobiles and handheld. Of course, there's no difference between uh, these two. The footage is pretty much the same. Uh, there is a big difference with the handheld footage, but there's no doubt that, th that you'll need some of these, especially if you're traveling, because you'll get amazing footage with them. Well, we're gonna do some extra shots now to see, to do some cinematic uh, footage and see if you can like this. Well guys, as you saw, uh, we did some extra footage with this little Chivo stock called Morris and I could spend my whole day here filming. This is just amazing. Uh, we filmed this with the Osmo Mobile 2 and seriously, we could be the whole day here. Leave a like also for Morris Chivo stock. Hi! Hi! Hey, Morris! Morris! You already asked us a few questions about the Osmo Mobile 2 even before we got it and I want to answer them. Um, first, you were asking uh, which phones does it support in terms of size, not in terms of Bluetooth 4.0 because pretty much any phone nowadays has it. Well, DJI does not make it very clear. It says that uh, any, f any phone, for example, from the, G from the iPhone SE up to the 6S Plus, which you know is a little bit bigger, fits in here. However, Chivo and me, we don't have a 8 Plus, so we've not been able to uh, test it yet. And also DJI says that you should be careful with all your cases and everything that the phone has, because it might not work properly on the Osmo Mobile 2. So for the size, just keep, keep, keep tuned. We'll, we'll test it with different phone sizes. Also, one of the questions you had is how was the Osmo Mobile 2 working in order to um, do those stories and those Instagram live that DJI sells, like now you can do live Instagrams and all that. Well, first of all, you have to remove the phone and now loosen up this uh, knob here and you'll be able to rotate the whole gimbal. Uh, once you rotate it, all you have to do is put the phone back in and now turning it on, you'll be able to use this this way for all the stories and uh, vertical footage. Also, some of the questions of you guys were whether you could change the camera adjustments of your phone inside the DJI GO app, and the answer is yes. You can control um, the resolution of the pictures, you can control whether you want to shoot in 24 or 30 frames. Always, of course, if your phone allows you to do so, because um, the Osmo Mobile 2 does not have specific resolutions and stuff. It, has, it depends on your phone. Also, one of the interesting things that I believe you could not do on the Osmo Mobile 1 is the speed of the joystick. Even though I'm not a big fan of the joystick, uh, you know, some people will be uh, moving around the finger in order to move around the Osmo Mobile and you can adjust the speed inside the app. So this is also pretty good. To the questions whether you can use third-party apps in order to do some live streams, um, the answer is also yes, you can um, use many different third-party apps in order to do your broadcasting. And finally, the question to where your footage, your pictures and videos were stored on when using the, the Osmo Mobile 2, the answer is on the iOS devices, they are stored on the DJI Go app, so you'll have to download them from them. And for Android users, um, they are stored either on your phone or on the SD card of your Android phone. Finally, guys, talking about some of the gadgets and accessories you can use on the Osmo Mobile. 
Um, one of the most important things and one of the first things that I purchased on the Osmo Model 1 was this base in order to do some motion time lapse and panning and panoramas and all that stuff. And it is not compatible with the Osmo Mobile 2. So you'll have to purchase, in case you have an, uh, the first one, you'll have to purchase another one specifically for the Osmo Mobile 2. And also, the last question was whether you could attach some different lenses to your phone. And of course, the answer is yes. You'll be able to put anything that you want on your phone. Just remember that depending on the weight, it, you'll have to adjust the knobs a little bit better in order to put the weight better. <music>